Okay, next question comes from Roland. And Roland says, how do I create new structure within the company? Background is, our family business is a decor and seasonal retail and wholesale store. In the store, we employ a total of 10 employees. The company grew over time, but there was never time and energy allocated to systematically grow it. Currently, the employees are all rotating between being a cashier, unpacking incoming inventory, sticking labels on inventory, placing the inventory on shelves. As everybody is doing everything, sometimes I feel like no one is doing anything. They are not responsible. There are a lot of mistakes, etc. I need proper job descriptions and tasks. I believe I need to divide the store into segments, sales and product handling, and create new job responsibilities, etc. Okay, this is great, yeah. You know, this isn't uncommon for a younger company. I know you're an older company, I think. It's not uncommon for a younger company um, or even a company where the owner has never had training like this um, to be in this situation where everybody just pitches in. Uh, so yes, I think it's a great idea, Roland, to go ahead and take a look at putting together what's called an organizational chart. And then in your organizational chart, talking about all the different segments of your business and what kind of person uh, needs to fill each individual role, um, what kind of skill set that they're gonna need to fulfill that role, and then match those people with those roles. Now the challenge with the situation that I can see is gonna potentially happen, to, so think, think about this as you go forward, is when things are kind of getting done, even though they might not be getting done as well as you want, and that's probably a management issue, that's probably a leadership and management issue at your company, but when things aren't get, when things are working, if you will, and then we come in and disrupt what is there already, there's a potential for some employees, especially ones that have been there longer, possibly, there's a, they're, they can get resistant to change. So what worked for me in my last company when I did this is it was really important for me to put together a plan uh, and a vision of what we were going for. And I actually included members of my team in the building of that plan and that process because that way I got their insight and their information of the way they looked at their job and what was wrong and what was right, which is really hard emotionally when your employees are telling you what's not good about the company and you have to listen to that without getting defensive, really important, but listen to them and then I created the plan so that way, when I went back to get buy-in of the plan of setting up that structure in the company, they were more willing to accept the changes we wanted to make because they were sort of involved in the process. But this is a leadership issue going on at your company right now, and I think it's great that you're going to attack that. Organizational chart, match people with skill set, probably refer back to your brand uh, and your, as far as your core values of your company, if you don't have any, get some core values in my opinion, because that will help you in this process when you're, when you are, are taking the, the ideas out to your team. Um, but this is definitely a leadership issue. So the, your leadership team, you, your parents, your dad, whatever, this has got to start from the top. Um, so I think it's great. Now, another thing that you said was that you said, um, um, sometimes I feel like no one is doing anything. So that's kind of dramatic. I'm sure, you know, work is getting done. So that's just very dramatic. Um, I can feel the stress in, your, in the tone of what you're writing here. Um, once again, that's a leadership problem. So if you're the leader at your company, that's your fault. And because if people aren't getting things done, maybe they don't know what they should be getting done and you're not holding them accountable. You're not doing reviews to let them know what's wrong and what they need to be doing. If they don't do it, you're not writing them up and giving them warnings and saying, if you don't get it done, you're not gonna be working, you're choosing to not work here anymore. These are all leadership problems. Teams, and remember, there's no bad employees. There's only bad managers. Um, so this is something for you and your dad to, to take a look at and say, how do we solve this? And I know that's another issue with you, you and your dad, but. This is definitely a leadership thing and it can be solved with great leadership. And I think it's right what you're wanting to do. It's gonna take a plan, it's gonna take a process. If you need help with this, 
Dan, one of the mentors, he excels in this. You could hire him as a, as a short-term coach to work with you to do all of this. It would save you time, energy, stress, money, everything if you worked with Dan. So if you want an introduction, just shoot me an email and let me know, okay? This is great stuff, man. This is natural, so it's all good. All right, thanks, man, bye.